everyone, this is Katie Colleen here. Welcome back, Colleen clan. Or if you are new, then come join the family. So I'm gonna be showing you how to style an anime pigtail crazy spiked teased wig. You know what I'm talking about? The hair that you would not expect to see in real life, but it's an anime, and now that you're a cosplayer, you somehow have to recreate it. That's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do today. So I'm going to be starting out with an Arda wig. This is an Arda chibi wig, and it is in the color rose pink. Now, the important thing about having a wig like this, a pigtail wig, is that you see it has this part down the center back. And this part down the back is actually like wefted in. It's sewn into the wig. It looks like if you're parting actual hair, you're not seeing any wefting. You're not seeing any of the head underneath in that part. So now that we've had a good look at the base wig that I'm starting with, let's get into styling. Now for this tutorial, I already styled half of the pigtail wig and my goal throughout this tutorial will be to make the left pigtail match the right pigtail. So to get started, the Arda Chibi wig comes with elastics wrapped around to hold the ponytails in place. They're actually on there like pretty tight. They do a good job securing that pigtail. And I'm going to keep a hold on that elastic. We're going to actually use it later. I'm going to comb out the hair and I'm going to retie it where I want the pigtail to be. The character I am creating a wig for is Whitney from Pokemon. She's a gym leader. I'm not doing a like canon, I guess, wig for her. I wanted it to be like four separate spikes and look a whole lot more achievable in real life than the reference, which kind of looks like just cardboard, like pink triangle sticking out the back of her head. So if you're doing any separate spikes, this is the time to separate out the hair and kind of allot how much hair you want in each hair spike. Now for this character, her like outermost hair spike is much bigger than the other ones. So I just have these little hair bands and I'm just banding these off just so I don't end up having too much or too little hair where I do not want it. So with these pieces of hair, I'm going to want to work on one at a time. So I'm actually going to reuse that elastic that Arda sent with this wig and I'm going to tie that around the neck of the wig head. And then I'm just actually gonna use that to hold all the other hair tied pieces. So let's get into kind of like teasing and getting this spiked up. So I have my top hair section. Now I'm gonna actually take that and section off about like a third of it. And that is also going to get tucked away. And then the rest is what we're really gonna get into and start teasing. This is what we are just gonna go crazy on, okay? We are going to get our fine tooth comb and we are just going to tease, tease, tease. So the method that I came down to is I'm gonna start at the very base of the pigtail and I'm going to kind of brush up teasing it. And then I'm going to take a little break and I'm gonna use got to be glued hairspray. I'm gonna spray where I teased and then I'm going to use my hair dryer and I'm going to dry that. So that's gonna kind of like solidify that teased mess. And I did many, many renditions of this, okay? It took a while. Tease it, then got to be glued hairspray, hair dryer. Tease, hairspray, hair dryer. Now I'm gonna get to a point here where I have it pretty well teased. I have a good idea of what I wanna do, but it's still too long. I wanted to do quite a bit of the teasing before I cut anything, just so I knew how it would lay once it has that like gravity defying look. So I'm going to take my cutting shears and I'm going to cut upwards into the wig and just cut it down to the right size. So I'm doing my best to match the pigtail I've already created. And then I'm also layering it so that it will come to a point at the bottom. So now that this has been cut to the right size, a little bit of layering, I'm just gonna go right back into it. I'm gonna go to teasing, hairspray, hair dryer, teasing, hairspray, hair dryer. And now that it's shorter, it should be a lot easier and it should hold up so much better. It's already holding itself pretty much horizontal to the wig head. So now that we have this like really great base for our hair spike, you may also notice that it's also ugly. It is not very aesthetically pleasing. I'm gonna take some spiking gel and I'm just gonna do spiking gel to kind of get this into a nice, shape. I'm going to use my hair dryer and I'm going to get that all dry. 
So once I have that base kind of slicked down, now we can take that extra third of hair we set aside and we can wrap it around that. And then I'm going to use hairspray and even more got to be glued spiking gel. And I'm going to glue that over. And now it just looks so much more aesthetically pleasing than the matted mess that we made for the base of the wig. Now I decided to hold off on cutting kind of that extra layer of hair down to length. I decided to do that last just so I had a good idea of what I was working with with the other hair spikes. And that's pretty much the process that I'm going to apply to every hair spike. Something that I really wanted to achieve with this styling technique was to not use any glue and only use styling gel and hairspray. The thing with glue is it's kind of irreversible. So I definitely avoided using glue. Okay, so here's how it looks with all of the teasing done. So I still have all of the ends tied off with little rubber bands. So before I cut anything, uh, I definitely want to make sure that everything is laying exactly how I want it to. <laughs> Once you cut things, it becomes rather permanent. And then I'm going to get out my cutting shears and I'm going to cut that like outer layer, right? So I'm going to cut that down to size. And then I'm going to use a whole lot of spiking gel to get all of the top hairs to lay perfectly flat, to get them to fit around that base form that we've created. A whole lot of spiking gel. I went through so much got to be glued spiking gel. So now I have the pigtail done. So I'm actually going to give you guys a little bonus for this video. I'm also gonna show you how I did the bangs. So the bangs for this character were like really thick and I just wasn't super, super crazy about that. Uh, so I didn't add any extra wefting. I just used the bangs that were on the base wig. So, hey, guess what I'm gonna do with the bangs? <laughs> I'm going to tease them. And then what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna spray them with some hairspray. And then I'm gonna go in with a hairdryer. Notice how the bangs really like come away from the face as I tease them. Then I'm going to kind of cut this down to size. And then she has her bangs kind of divided into like separate sections. So I'm just going to use a hairspray and just with my fingers divide it into separate sections. I felt like the spiking gel was a little bit of overkill for these like thinner bangs. So I hope this is helpful. It just takes a lot of hard work and patience. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.